me, Tim Long. We're at the Telecom Dome here in Germany. Sixth hosting seventh in Group B. Surely a must-win game for Bonn if they're to keep their playoff hopes alive. The home side sit two wins off the all-important top four with a four and six record. There's just four games remaining to claw back that gap and to make it through into the postseason. A look at uh, the fixtures here in Group B. I'll focus this evening on this group where Tenerife also hosts Venezia in around half an hour. And then tomorrow, Parva welcome Unet to Lon and Monta play host to Pau. 32 teams split across four groups of eight. Of course, and we're on the final stretch of the regular season. The visitors, Freiburg, it's already too late to make a playoff push of their own. They've won just two of their first ten this season, but they could still challenge for a place to drop down into the Europe Cup. This is how Group B looks. The top four make the playoffs. Tenerife flying high at 9-1. and one. Venezia also in a strong position to make the next stage. Pauk and Holon are both 6-4. and four. Nanterre just one win outside the top four. Bon a further win back and Freiburg a little more cut adrift as we've seen. So what a huge night this is for Telecom Baskets Bon. Surely only a win will do to keep the pressure on that top four. They desperately want to make the playoffs of this competition for the first time, having also gone out at the regular season last season. First we'll see the Freiburg roster. Babacar Torre with team highs of 15.9 points and 10.9 rebounds per game is their main man, the Senegalese centre, Andre Williamson, team second best of 14.7.8 boards. And Dushan Mladjan has a threat from the outside, shooting 40% from downtown, 11.3 points per game on average. And he's knocking down a couple of three-pointers per game. And there's the bomb players ready to make their way out and make their official introduction to this home crowd. We'll see their roster here. And they're without Charles Jackson, who's their leader in scoring and rebounding for the rest of the season now. So more responsibility for Martin Breunig, averaging 10.2 points and 4.5 rebounds per game so far. And also for Josh Mayo, who's key. Team's second best averages of 13 points and 3.2 assists. And TJ Dilio with a team high average of 4.8 assists per game is their most creative player. Also key is Rashad James, averaging 12.7 points as well as 3.1 assists per contest. And as for Freeborg Olympic, it's all about trying to finish as strong as possible as they get set to make their introduction here at the Telecom Dome. A win tonight would see them just one win behind tonight's opponents for a chance to finish sixth and to drop down into the Europe Cup if they decide to take up that offer. They're just two and eight so far in Group B. They've struggled on their return to European competition, having made it through three qualifying rounds to reach the Basketball Champions League regular season for the first time. They have been competitive on home court. They've really struggled on the road until a 76-77 win at Opava in their last away game. They'd lost their previous four before that by an average margin of defeat on the road by 22 points. And they'll hope to continue with a little more positivity here tonight. We're ready now for the introduction of the home team, Telecom Baskets Bonn. Four and six so far. They sit sixth, as we've seen in Group B. Two wins behind the top four with four games to go. They alternated losses with wins over the first four games, including the 79-83 win at Fribourg on game day four. Very close when these two teams last met in the reverse fixture. And although Bonn have won just two out of six since then, they suffered their worst defeat of the campaign last week, losing by 47 points at Nanterre. Having beaten Pauk by 17 here in the previous game, they're two and three on home court. They're also two and three on the road so far. And this is a team that did get battered in just about every single department at Nanterre 
in France last week. They lost 103-56 was the final score. It was their lowest offensive output of the season. And the second highest points tally that they've conceded so far. They shot just 44% inside and 20% from downtown, allowing their opponents over 50% inside and out. It is perhaps just what they need this week to get back on track. A home game and a game against a team who are second from bottom in the group, one of the two teams that have really struggled so far. Although Freeborg did put in a spirited performance themselves last week, they went down by just six points at home to the group leaders, Tenerife, 66-72. They trailed for the vast majority of the game, but clawed it back from 19 points down to get close. Although they couldn't quite complete the comeback. They only turned the ball over nine times in the game. They grabbed one extra offensive rebound, which is one of their big strengths. But they shot a woeful 38% from two-point range and just 33% from downtown as well. And shooting has been one of the big Achilles heels for Freeborg Olympic in this regular season campaign. It's an incredibly tough ask for them again tonight. Bond shoot the better percentages by a distance inside and out as well as at the foul line, but the away side do have the better rebounding numbers on both the defensive and offensive counts they're averaging 14 offensive boards a game and we'll need to make the most of those second chance opportunities tonight they are scoring 6.1 more second chance points a game than Bonn we see your officiating team for this game day 11 contest here in the basketball champions league and Freeburg are also averaging around six more points in the paint than tonight's hosts but they've been poor on the perimeter the competition worst, 26.4% shooting from long range. And their perimeter defense has allowed opponents more three-pointers than any other team in the Basketball Champions League. As we see the Freeborg starting five, Torre, Watts, Robertson, Williamson and uh, Jurkovic get the start for the visiting team here tonight. And that lack of defense is a concern given that Bonn have really turned it up on home court here in recent times. A concern for Petr Alexic, the head coach of Freiburg. Bonn have scored above 92 points in each of their last three home games. They haven't scored above 90 points in any of their previous nine here in this competition. Here's a look at the starting five for the home team. Dilio, Breunig, Bartolo, Mayo and Webb. James Webb, a player that we've not mentioned yet, plays a key role, 7.5 points, 4.7 rebounds per game. He takes a lot of three-point shot attempts. And there is the head coach. For Telecom Basket Spawn, Pedro Krunic. They are only 10th in the German Bundesliga this season, just a 7 and 8 record. They started with three straight home wins, or three straight wins rather, in domestic competition before winning just two of their next 10, but they've now won their last two in a row. They've uh, got back on track in domestic action and they're trying to do the same here in the Basketball Champions League. As for Freiburg, they're second in the Swiss League, a 10 and 3 record. Just one win behind Geneva Lions at the top. And they actually lost at the weekend, though, which ended their six game winning streak in domestic competition. Here we go then. The players taking their positions on court, ready for this one here. They're on game day 11 of the Basketball Champions League regular season. And Bonn look ready to go. Their players out there already. Freeburg taking their time. 
And there is Babacar Torre, the 33-year-old Senegalese centre. Averaging around 16 points and 11 rebounds. He had a monster double-double last week. Justin Robertson, the key player for them as well. He was fouled out against Tenerife in that close fought defeat. Norman Bertolo, another player for Bon, who's key, who we've not mentioned yet. 8.7 points, 4.8 rebounds, 2.4 assists, and 1.6 steals a game. Two teams then desperate for a win to keep alive their chances of fighting for something significant over the final three games of the regular season. A five-time German Bundesliga finalist taking on the 17-time and reigning Swiss League champions. The fake on the three from Torre, he looks to get into the edge of the paint. And shoot over the top of the defence and it pops out, offensive rebound, put back in by Justin Watts. Watts, who was only one of six from the field for two points in last week's defeat, up and running already here. Bartolo. Here's Josh Mayo, moves it on. Boynig looking to attack, knocked away inside. He recovers it, though. Shot clock down to the final few seconds. Here goes Mayo on the move and missing. And what a positive start for Freiburg as they get to a score on their first possession and then a defensive stop. Robertson. Torek. Here's Watts looking to attack again, taking on Dilio. Twisting, hanging and hitting with a beautiful use of the backboard. Freiburg have scored the first four points. Here's Mayo. Now Dilio. 4.8 assists per game to lead his team creatively. Looking to drive and score himself this time and getting denied. I think it was Watts who got a piece of it. Here he is now on the offensive end. Justin Watts into the lane, across to the far side. A shot from distance for Torre and he hits it. Freeborg are free firing from the start. The Swiss side have scored the first six points. Can Bon get going? Yes, they can. Dancing through the defense is pointing. It took nearly two minutes for Bond to get on the board. Although it's followed up by the defensive stop because Freeborg have turned it over. Not on Jurkovic carrying the ball up the floor. And now a chance to get back within touching distance for Telecom Baskets Bond. Bartolo taking the outside shot off the mark. Here's Jurkovic looking to protect the ball better this time. Looking very busy on the inside. Beautiful footwork. And he gets the finger roll to fall. Not on your Kovic with his first score. He was not a uh, present player in the game last week. He's back and back quickly. Freeborg are back up by six. Williamson, he lost it. A couple of turnovers in quick succession now for Freeborg. Looking to come forward all the way through, missing. But then being helped out by his teammate was Bruinig. It's James Webb in the end who puts it in. And they'll force another turnover. Great pressure applied by Bartolo. Bond looking to turn it up a notch here. Hung high across to Bruinig, knocked away by Torre, and it will be free board ball. It's been a really entertaining start to this one. Free board coming in and scoring the first six points. Bond doing their best to get back on track, forcing loads of turnovers, but not taking advantage of many of them. They've punished just one out of three. Jurkovic across to the far side, hung into the edge of the paint now. Watts takes the shot early on the turn. Bond looking to run the floor again. They've got the legs to do that. Not the passing ability, though. 
as Robertson picks it off. The bounce pass into Torre. Robertson's there. Little head fake, puts the ball on the floor. Torre underneath it again. A couple of offensive rebounds, but they can't make them count. Frantic in the paint. Brunig up against Torre. That's a big battle on the inside, and Brunig wins that part of it. Four of Bond's six points for Martin Bruinig. Here's Robertson. Creates a little bit of room and drains the shot from mid-range over the top of Mayo. Robertson, who was fouled out on 12 points, three assists and two steals against Tenerife last week. Bartolo moves it back to Mayo. Really positive offensive start for Freeborg and Bond trying to answer back and raise their game. The challenge has been laid down by the Swiss team and they continue to come right at Bond, forced home by Williamson. And the lead is back to six for the Swiss. And there's a heel on the line from Dilio. So Bond turn it over this time. the start at all that Telecom Baskets Bond were looking for. Just over the midway point of the first quarter. You see those three Freeborg turnovers forced very quickly by Bond, but Bond have turned the ball over four times themselves. Babacar Torre. Hands it off on the perimeter. What's going to work? Torre will shoot the three. Too long. Offensive rebound, but a foul on Jurkovic. Remember, Freeborg had lost four straight games on the road before their last road game, which they won by just one point. Here they are up by six early on at Bond. Mayo averaging 13 points per game this season. Had it knocked away from behind, it will still be Bond ball, but only five left to shoot. The home team have started just three of nine from the field so far. Freeborg is six of 11. Shot clock winding down here on Rashad James, who misses off balance. And Jonah grabs the loose ball in for the first time, the number four. A minor role this season, playing 11 minutes per game. That pass disrupted, still fell to the feet of Jonah, though, who got down quickly to recover it. Moved on, here's Torre to flip it up and in, and the lead has grown to eight. Torre has four points, two of three from the field so far, making an impact at both ends of the floor. Three and a half to play in the first quarter. And the basket counts with the contact. There's a route back into the ball game for Bond. A chance at a three-point play. Paul Grave comes in. Seven points and six rebounds against Tenerife for him last week. There's a look at the floated shot that fell for Josh Mayo after the contact. He'll be looking to put a really disappointing game behind him from last week, Mayo. He scored just two points, missed all seven of his shots from the field. He's shooting good percentages over the course of the season. Grave onto this near side. Jurkovic hangs one high. There's a little hesitation. Defense stuck to Williamson, though. Bartolo. 
Final three minutes of the quarter, five points the lead, but a chance now to cut it to a one possession game here for Bonn. Subotic onto this near side, driving in is James, and a foul. Third foul on Freeborg. Bonn have only committed the one. It is a shooting foul, so Rashad James to the line for two to try and reduce the arrears to three points. James averaging 12.7 points, 3.1 assists, 2.9 rebounds and one steal per game this season, doing a bit of everything. Heading both of his foul shots here. It's a three-point game with three minutes of the quarter to play. Jonah. Williamson now. Watts. This is Jonah again, knocked away, still free board possession. Seven seconds remaining on the shot clock still. Justin Watts. Now they're going to have to quicken the pace behind the back dribble and an offensive foul against Chad Timberlake. It came as he was trying to force up the shot in the final moments of the shot clock. So four fouls on Freeborg now, which means any fouls from their defence for the remainder of this quarter will send the Bonn offence to the foul line, shooting foul or not. Bartolo backing in against Timberlake, looking to bully his way to the basket, forced into the miss. It's recovered, though, on the far side by Webb. They're going to have to put something up here. Here goes James racing to the hole and scoring. Using every second of the shot clock to get Bond back within a whisker. From eight down, there within one, and there was contact as well, so a chance to tie. Rashad James has come in and really left his mark on this quarter. And he ties us up, 14-14. Bonn only scored six points over the first six minutes. They've scored eight points over the last two minutes. And here they come again, trying to complete the early comeback. And they have to. From eight down, they lead. The comeback has taken just a couple of minutes. And a lead that's been thrown away by Freeborg. Shona. On the move, rolling away from him was Grave and a foul on the far side. It's only Bond's second foul of the quarter. What a start for Freeborg. They were up 6 14. Bond have scored 10 points without reply. Freeborg stop the bleeding. No, they can't. An offensive foul called against Florian Steinmann. The offensive foul does not send Bond to the foul line, only fouls from the defense when a team is at the limit for the quarter. So Bond will inbound in the backcourt with Bojan Subotic. A 10-0 run, Rashad James with five points in that run. Here he is again, moving it across, deep three-pointer. Won't go this time. In fact, we haven't had a three knocked down in the game yet. Just over a minute to go in the first quarter. Timberlake across to the far side, moved into the edge of the paint here to Torre. Torre trying to twist away from Subotic. 
and getting contact from the bond number seven. Bonner 0 of 4 from downtown now. Freeport have only taken one shot from the outside and missed it. Steinman trying to shake off the attentions of his opposite number. Back to Timberlake it goes. Timberlake taking on the long two and banking it in. Held to just two of ten from the field in last week's defeat. Chad Timberlake for seven points and three assists. He hits his first shot here this week, although he has been forced into a turnover already. Rashad James across to the far side. They'll try from the outside once more. 0 of 5 now from downtown Abon. Timberlake stopping that 10-0 run that Bonn had been on to get us level at 16-16. There's an eight-second differential between shot and game clock at the end of the quarter. Torre rolling onto the inside. Here's Timberlake. It goes in towards Torre now, and he got basket side, and that was far too easy for Babacar Torre. Freeborg back ahead, four seconds to shoot here. Rashad James with the ball in his hands, looking to get into the paint, runs into a big blue wall and forced into the miss at the end of the quarter. A roller coaster ride of a first quarter, and Freeborg have come out on top. Bond 16, Freeborg 18, and all of the scoring on the inside where Freeborg have shot 64%, impressively so far. The Swiss side lead by two. Bruinig, a really positive start for Bonn, but it took that to get them on the board after Freiburg had scored the first six points in the game. Lovely spin move from Martin Bruinig. And Freiburg responded to that by coming back and stretching their lead to as many as eight points. They were up 6-14 after six minutes or so and looked in a commanding position. A number of different players getting involved. Balakar Torre leads the way for them with six points. Justin Watts has four. Justin Robertson knocking that one down. And then Bond started to apply a little bit of extra pressure on defence, forcing a number of turnovers. And Rashad James had five points in a 10-0 run for them. To get back from that eight-point deficit and take the lead before Freiburg recovered to score the last two baskets of the quarter and nudge themselves ahead again. Rashad James hitting three of three from the line as well as one of three from the field for his five points to lead the way for Bond. Babacar Torre, three of five from the field for his team high of six points for Freeborg. There we go then, start of the second quarter, Bond 16, Freeborg 18. And the home team start with the ball, a chance to maybe get that level or take the lead again. Rashad James, out to the near side to Jarrell Reichel, who's in for the first time. James once more with the shot clock winding down, left-hand dribble drive, kicks it back out for the deep, deep three. And it's just not happening for Bond from distance. And they've got an injury concern off the back of that sixth missed three-pointer of this first half. And a hard fall for Bojan Subotic by the looks of it. Just twisting mid-air and landing on his back. He comes down on his side. He's back on his feet now and hopefully he can walk this one off. Robertson. To that 10 0 Bond run. Freeborg have gone on a 4 0 run. They're forced into another turnover here. Subatic certainly looks like he has recovered from that four. 
Dillian. Onto the far side, moved on to Subatic. Bounce pass in towards Dilio. Not beyond the baseline. Only three seconds to shoot. Bomb ball. We've got to do something quickly here, Bond. High towards Subatic, who got it away straight away. Although he couldn't get his angles right. Torre, six points in the first quarter for him. Robertson on to Torre again. And he got fouled by Reichel, who was asking for a travel. The foul came first. Freeport could be pretty happy with this start. They've survived that 10-0 run that Bomb went on to keep themselves ahead and a chance to stretch the lead here. Steinmann trying to wriggle away, moving it on to Torre. Oh, lovely step through the paint and the left-hand layup falls. Eight points in the first half for Torre. They have 13 points and a monster 15 rebounds against Tenerife last week. He's got eight points already here, and there's the steal coming all the way through with the freedom of the Telecom Dome to dunk. Justin Robertson rocking the rim. Now Freeborg have scored six points without reply now to answer back to that 10-point bond run, and the home team are forced to call a timeout. Great defence leading to simple and emphatic offence for Freeborg and for Justin Robertson coming up with a steal. And that after the nice work earlier on on the inside from Justin Watts. Freeborg have been dominant from two-point range. And they've only taken one three-point attempt in the game. They're 11 of 17 from two-point territory. The lead has been stretched to six points here. It is, in fact, an 8-0 free ball run. And off the back of that 10-0 bond run. Eight points now for Babacar Torre, four for Robertson, four for Watts. Dilio. Nice screen and the roll back inside from Breuning. It goes around the perimeter to the far side. Shot clock winding down. Tight defense from Steinmann. It's going to be a heave ho from distance and a shot clock violation. Bon, who came in shooting 36% from downtown and now 0 of 8 from three point range. It's been a dreadful start against the worst perimeter defense in the competition. Freeborg have allowed their opponents to knock down more threes than any other team yet in the Basketball Champions League. They haven't allowed their opponents tonight to knock down any. Here they come looking to stretch their run and stretch their lead and a foul. There's the second on Bonn in the second quarter. Timberlake knocked down to the deck. No surprises 
to see Freeborg themselves only taking one three-point attempt so far because they have the worst three-point conversion rate in the competition. They're doing their damage on the inside through Babacar Torre, who's up to double figures already. And it's a 10-0 Freiburg run now. What a response to that 10-0 bond run. And 10 points on a personal point of view for Torre. He's five of seven from the field. Pointing, nice pass out to James, thought about the three, does take it on eventually, and another miss. A chance now to stretch this Freiburg run to double figures, which would make it the largest lead for them of the game. They had an eight-point lead earlier. That's a nice pass out to this side to Steinmann, who knocks down just their second three-point attempt of the game and takes the Freiburg lead to 11. What a recovery. Dilio on to Reichel. Reichel into the lane, driving through traffic and an offensive foul against Jarrell Reichel. It's turnover number seven for Bonn, which ties them level with Freiburg in that department. That may well have been a two. The right foot looked like it could have been on the line. And indeed, that has been adjusted now. You can see the lead has been reduced from 11 to 10. So they haven't yet hit a three-pointer. We haven't yet had a three-pointer knockdown in the game. That was about as close as we've come. The right foot, though, of Steinmann was on the line. It is a 12-0 Freiburg run, though. Jurkovic looking to stretch that with a long two and everything going down for Freiburg. 14 points without reply. Delia Here's James. He's going to take on the contested long-range two. Misses it. The ball like a magnet into the hands of Steinmann. And here come Freiburg again. Lovely handle on the ball from Robinson. Outside shot for Torre doesn't go. He's taken a couple of three-point attempts. Nobody else has taken one for Freeborn. Dilio. Breunig looking to take on Torre down the baseline and got fouled. Just the second foul on Freeborg in this second quarter. They were at the limit with a few minutes to spare in the first. It's the first personal on Babacar Torre, but he goes to the bench. It's four and a half minutes without a score here in the second quarter for Bonn. Dilio. The chance to line up the three for Webb and still they continue to throw up bricks from downtown. 0 of 9 from three-point range for Bonn. And that was a really good look for James Webb. He takes 4.4 three-point attempts per game, Webb, but he's only shooting 27% from the outside. Dilio to Bruinig, shot clock winding down to the final three. Lovely footwork again as he spins in, tries to use the backboard, misses, and they still can't stop the rock. Midway point of the second quarter, and Bond still haven't scored in this period of play. They're going to try and force the turnover here, and they have done. Look at the celebration and the determination from Jorman Bartolo as he forces the backcourt violation. And that's the kind of hustle play that Bond need right now. And we are going to have a timeout. Freeborg up by 12 points. Brace, brace, four. 
Justin here. Justin here. Hello. In the regular open three sides. Open three sides here. It falls here. It is. Your man. Here. Good screen. Good screen. We shot. Good screen. Here. Be ready. Shot. Be ready for attack. Come on. Hide it. Hide it. Go. Three more. Three. One. Two. Three. We're seeing a few of the points here that Bon have put on the board, but only 16 in just under 16 minutes. So they're only averaging around a point a minute at the moment. They're shooting just 25% from the field, 6 of 24 so far. And uh, absolutely desperately in need of something. Your man Bartolo forcing the turnover gives them another opportunity to try and put some points on the board in this quarter, although James trying the tricky dish pass as he looks to shovel it off on the inside, turns it over. It is their eighth turnover of the night. Not the reaction that coach Petra Krunic wanted off the back of the timeout. Jeremy Jona comes back in. Robertson. Williamson to Jona. Jukovic moves it on to the edge of the paint, going to work here is Watts into the lane, shooting over the top of the defence and hitting. It's a 14-point, free Borg lead. They've scored the last 16 without reply. Justin Watts up to six points, three of four from the field. Dinio moves it on, and an emphatic response from Martin Bruinig to stop the bleeding. Just what Bond needed to try and lift them back into contention. Their first score of the second quarter, and it's taken nearly six minutes. Watts steps back behind the three-point line and misses. And then a foul on Jurkovic. Only three Borgs third of the quarter. Now Bruinig backlash with the one-hand jab. And their first score in what seems like an eternity. And it brings to an end that 16-point unanswered run. Let's see if they can make it back-to-back -back scores now, Bob. Long range contested, two doesn't go, but three to put it in on the offensive rebound is Bartolo. Lead cut from 14 to 10, three and a half to play in the first half. Robertson has to keep the ball tight to his body, under pressure from Dilio. Jonah. Williamson on to Robertson. Shot clock winding down to the final few seconds, and an offensive foul. Maybe we've got a defensive foul, let's see. One second on the shot clock, he was going nowhere. Your man Bartolo had that offensive rebound a few seconds ago. I thought they were going to call the offensive foul there, but in fact it's gone the other way. It's a fourth foul on Bonn. And the technical has been called as well. But the technical just stops the game and allows the player to shoot and then we're back to where we were. The technical was the fourth foul on Bond, but now we have an inbounding situation with the shot clock reset to 14. And Bond able to recover the ball. A chance to make it a single digit game. Bounce pass into the lane, nice footwork, nice body work. And the shot misses though for Bartolo, they get a second bite of the cherry. And crossover and the pull up three from Mayo, who makes it count, and Bonner on the charge. Seven points without reply for them as this first half of runs continues. And now it's Freeborg who are forced into the timeout. Their 14-point lead has been chopped in half. Don't lose focus. They're over aggressive. When you grab 
Well, it took until the 10th attempt, but Bonn have been able to knock down an outside shot, one of 10 from three-point range, and it came off the back of a couple of other baskets, Breunig dunking home, and the offensive rebound and conversion from Jorman Bartolo, added to with the three-pointer from Joshua Mayo, a seven-point surge for Bonn to get them back into contention. So seven points is the difference as well as they look to force another turnover recovered by Jonah. He's got a race over centre court and he does. He races all the way to the basket as well. Underarm layup will fall. Now Jonah turns on the afterburners. And they almost forced the backcourt violation. He had another gear though. Going to work edge of the paint is Bruyne drawing the attention of the defense, but forced into a travel. Ninth turnover of the first half for Telecom Baskets Bomb. It ties them level, in fact, with free ball. Neither team has protected the ball well. Two minutes and change remaining in the first half. Here in Germany, 23-32 the score. In and going to work, looking to score again as Torre, who's at double figures already, can't get it to go though. Timberlake applying pressure, but to no avail. Here's Mayo. He's got movement around him. Breunig fires it to the free mountain. They work it nicely around the perimeter, and Bartolo puts the ball on the floor and draws contact. Shovel pass and a foul on his route to the rim, drawn by James Webb. A minute and a half remaining in the first half and a chance to reduce the deficit back down to seven. It has been as many as 14. in the first but making the second James Webb makes it an eight-point ball game Paul Grave to inbound the 23 year old small forward with a long pass and they've got a player free in behind here. The two long passes forward, and Andre Williamson was in behind to score. And free ball back up by 10. Bruinig. Mayo. Mayo behind the back, picked up by Bruinig. Mayo drawing the double team, pass deflected. Bruinig still able to recover, not to score, but how about his teammate James Webb? Flying in to finish. Webb now up to five points. He won't go down off the backboard the first time. Not quite as pretty a putback as we saw at the other end, but they all count just the same. And the lead is back to 10. Final 40 seconds or so here in the second quarter. 
Webb moving it onto the near side, popped away out of the hands of Dilio. Good hustle play defensively from Gravite. There's a 12 second or so differential between shot and game clock at the end of the half. Freeport will try and take their time and limit the time with which Bon have to respond. Robertson into the lane it goes, a one on one chance on the inside for the big bullish Williamson and he takes advantage. And Freeborg are up by 12. Bomb will call a timeout to try and answer back before the second quarter buzzer. talked at the start of the game about the strength on the inside of Freeborg and the struggles on the outside they have made it all about their inside game shooting a much better percentage from two-point range they've only taken on two three-point attempts so far missing both of them but they're shooting over 70 percent from two-point range 19 out of 27 and you saw there the points in the paint dominant in that category Despite the very best efforts of Bonn on the comeback trail, they have been stopped in their tracks. Final five seconds, chance for one more shot for Bonn. It's a three-pointer, and it's short for Mayo. And that brings a very disappointing first half to a close for Bonn. They will go down at the half by double digits, 26 to 38. A torrid first half display on offense. Uh, Freeborg, as you can see there, shooting 70% on the inside. Bond limited to just 43% inside, 9%, 1 of 11 from downtown. Freeborg better on the boards as well. And one fewer turnover. Look at the game leader, six points for Bruinig to lead Bond in scoring. Double figures, though, for Torre for Freeborg to lead the way in that department and uh, Bonn as a team only have two assists in the whole of the first half as we see the top score is Williamson up to eight with a late scoring burst in the second quarter for Freeborg Mayo has six for Bonn the home team really have struggled to put points on the board though remember they've scored above 92 points in each of their last three home games in the Basketball Champions League, that was the first points of the game put on the board by Bruinig. They've only scored another 24 since. And it was a first half of big scoring runs. Freeborg went up by eight points. Bond's response was a 10-0 run to overturn that eight-point deficit and to get themselves ahead by two. And then what a retaliation from Freeborg off the back of a timeout. They had a 16-0 run as they went up by 14. And Bond responded themselves with a 7-0 run to half that deficit. But Freeborg have pulled away again right before the halftime interval. And everybody getting involved for the Swiss champions. 10 points for Torre, 8 for Williamson, 6 for Watts, four apiece for Jurkovic and for Robinson. And Bond really struggling to deal with the team who've won just two of their ten games so far this season. Well, Shaq James was the catalyst for one of those runs as they tried to come back. They did force a good number of turnovers, but they've turned the ball over at will themselves. Ten first-half turnovers for Bond, nine for Freeborg. And there's one of those turnovers, allowing the big two-handed throw down for Robinson. In transition, a little check in the wind mirror before rocking the rim. 
And this has been a very accomplished first half performance on defense and offense for Freeborg so far. Bond simply have to raise their game after the break, surely to keep their playoff hopes alive. They're two wins off the top four with just three games remaining after this one. They can't afford to allow that gap to the top four to grow any further at this stage. Just 26 points in the first half for them, 38 for Freeborg, a 12-point lead for the visiting team from Switzerland. Do make sure you join us for the second half in around 10 minutes' time.
Welcome back to the Telecom Dome in Bonn, where the home team have put just 26 points on the board over the first 20 minutes. Freiburg leading by 12, 26, 38. So the team second from bottom in Group B have the edge on the road. And uh, what a big turn of events it is against a Bonn team who've scored more than 92 points in each of their previous three home games. And they have to make a huge response in the second half, perhaps to keep their playoff dreams alive. Joshua Mayo hitting their only three-pointer so far. They were one of 11 from downtown in that first half. And that is one area that has to improve. They were only 31% from the field altogether. 43% on the inside, 9% from downtown. The game plan for Freeborg has been quite clear. We can't shoot a three, so don't. They've only taken two three-point attempts in the game and missed both of them. They're shooting 70.4% from two-point range, though. I mentioned before the opening tip that they have the advantage in terms of points in the paint. They're averaging around six points more a game in the paint than Bonn. Despite their overall struggles, they're also averaging more rebounds on the offensive and defensive glass. So they're trying to take advantage of that and trying to eliminate one of their major negatives this season, the outside shooting, simply by not taking outside shots. Bonn have to try and counteract that by packing the paint as much as they possibly can to reduce that dominant shooting percentage on the interior from Freeborg. And maybe just giving up a few open looks on the outside and forcing Freeborg to take a few more three-point attempts. The home team were putting up long ranges at will earlier in the game and took until their 10th attempt to knock one down. Maybe that was part of their plan, given that the Freeborg perimeter defence has been really woeful this season, allowing more three-pointers than any other team in the competition, but it's not been that way in this one so far. Bonn unable to take advantage, and a number of those 11 attempts, of which they've only made one, have been heaved up from a good few feet, a good few yards back. Some forced to the end of the shot clock, some taken in desperation in other situations. They haven't really been allowed too many good looks. I can only think of maybe three or four out of those 11 that were a good look at the basket. So you have to give Freeborg some credit for tightening up with their perimeter defense, but you have to expect that those shooting percentages, perhaps inside and out for Bonn, will improve in the second half. Will they improve enough? to overturn a 12-point deficit. And they certainly have to tighten their own defense on the inside to make life more difficult for the Swiss champions, Freeborg, who will start us off here at the start of the second half with Naton Jurkovic inbounding the ball and a chance to stretch that 12-point lead. Babacar's Torres, 10 points, leading the way. He's also grabbed four rebounds so far. Andre Williamson with eight points and five rebounds for the away team. We've got a problem with the clock here at the start of the second half, so that's why we've not got the third quarter underway yet. They are trying to get that sorted. And hopefully it is now. Here we go then, start of the second half, Bonn 26, Freeborg 38. It's the visiting team that start with the ball, but turn it over after just eight seconds. So already a decent enough start for Bonn to try and reduce the deficit. They've got their defensive stop, now they look to build on offense and to try and eat into that sizable deficit. Here's Boynig, a high catch, and a strong take up against Williamson. 
And he commits the foul. Brunic, who had six points in the first half, the joint leading scorer for Bonn. Long shooting foul, so the inbound with Dilio. Bartolo across to the near side. Threatening the three was Mayo, but moving it on, he gets a chance to get back on the ball again with the shot clock winding down. He takes the deep, deep three with a hand right in his face from Robertson, and he nails it. Change of halves and perhaps a change of fortune for Bob. It's a nine-point lead. And they hit just one three-pointer off 11 attempts in the first half. They hit their first attempt of the second. Shot clock winding down. It's away in time, but it won't drop. Mayo. On the move, they'll take another three-point attempt. Won't go this time. James Webb off the mark. And that really would have been game on. Robertson almost had his pocket picked. Which way is it going to go? And it's still going to be free ball ball. What a great effort to get down to the deck to try and save it, but to no avail. Both teams are going to have to fight for every loose ball, put their bodies on the line. At both ends of the floor in this second half, Bond in particular, who still harbour aspirations of making the playoffs. Williamson to try and answer back and does the first three-pointer for Freeborn. And Williamson up to 11 points. He's five of six from the field. That was his first attempt from downtown. And you can see it was only Freeborg's third attempt as a whole team. Bounce pass to Bruinig, back out, Dilio for three. It's a three-point shootout at the start of the third. Bonn have already made more three-pointers in the opening two minutes of this second half than they made in the whole of the first. Difficult pass, picked off. Torre turning it over. But then down on the deck, trying to keep it alive, was Justin Watts. The players putting their bodies on the line again. Nine points to get once more. The three-pointer for Bond cancelled out by a three-pointer for Freeborg and then another three-pointer for the home team. Webb looking to make the backdoor cut was TJ Dilio. Ball deflected away. Mayo. High entry pass, Brunig, high catch. Williamson got a piece of it, but put back in with the contact. Battling on the boards once again, your man Bartolo in the inside. Bartolo coming up with offensive rebound number four for him as well as those six points, and he has a chance to add one more to that tally here. He's been a huge presence defensively, those offensive rebounds and three steals in the game. Point shot again, this time off for Robertson. It's only a six point ball game. Here goes Dilio, moved across to the far side. Bond have only scored three point plays so far. And here they go with another one. They wouldn't go down. Quarterback pass down the floor, but failing to catch and keep it in bounds is Williamson.
Montilio going through the gears and going all the way to the hole. Bomb back within four. Having trailed by as many as 14 and by 12 at the half, they are back within touching distance and Freeborg forced to call the timeout. making a mark with points off turnovers and forcing 12 turnovers on Freeborg already and now making a mark with their outside shooting something they were struggling to do in the first half they've knocked down more three-pointers already here in the second and in the whole of the first also completing a three-point play on a foul on a drive and a nam one A 12 point lead has been cut to four. 37 41 as we come back off the timeout, four minutes into the second half. Robertson, this time the foul as Mayo looked to force another turnover. Watts into the paint, moving it on quickly, but off the mark off the Jokovic's pass and bullish on the boards once again was Torre. Can Freeborg continue to try and hold off this comeback attempt? They've made a pretty good adjustment to try and do so off the back of that timeout with a score and then forcing the turnover. That's Bonds 11. Oh, picked off. Going all the way through. Dilio throws it down. And the German joy continues. They're back within four again. There's another turnover. And now they're back. Level. No, back within two. A change to the score at the bottom of your picture. 41-43. Two points the gap. Midway point of the third quarter and what a third quarter it's been so far for Bonn they come close to forcing another turnover 14 turnovers now on Freeborg in the opening 25 minutes and Bonn have scored in this quarter 15 points having scored Only 26 in the whole of the first half. Oh, what a sportsmanlike foul called here. Another big rebound from Big Babacar. And he was fouled as he looked to put it back up, and the unsportsmanlike foul means free throws and possession for Freeborg. So they are making their best attempt to weather the bond storm and to hold off this comeback. The officials will go across to the video to make sure. Freeport lead by two, 43-41. This is a big call at a big moment in the third quarter of a big rebound from Babacar Torre. He was asking for it straight away as he fell backwards down to the floor. And the officials are uh, in no doubt about giving it initially. We still haven't really seen the contact. 
It's right across the shoulder, isn't it, from Broenig, with seemingly no legitimate attempt to play the basketball. The officials have seen those pictures, and they do agree with the initial call, having seen it from a few more angles. There has to be a legitimate attempt to play the basketball, and clearly there wasn't there from Martin Broenig. So, two free throws for Babacar Torre, followed by possession for Freeborg. And this Torre's first trip to the line, he's nudged himself onto 13 points, seven rebounds and a steal. You can add one more point. Freeborg up by four. And have a chance to extend this lead now. Chantin Blake's inbounds. Robertson moves it on. Into Babacar, Torre, lovely footwork as he turns the paint into a dance floor. Skipping away from the defense to score. And a chance at a three-point play for Babacar Torre. And this would be a five-point surge for him and for Freeborg. The Swiss champions turning to their main man to get them out of a hole after Bonnet got back within two. Five straight points for Babacar Torre. Seven points the gap. Mayer, Webb. Here's Bruinig near side of the paint, looking to go one-on-one, -on -one, backing down his map. Hot defense came across, but he skipped through the gap and flipped it up and in. Eight points for Bruinig now, four of nine from the field. Five points the gap, Robertson on to Babacar Torre, puts the ball on the floor. Across to the far side, high catch, the adjustment, shot nowhere near. And now a chance for Bon in transition. Here's Mayo to take on the three, no. Bruinig a big offensive rebound, another for Bon. It's their eighth of the game. Here goes Dilio, foul from behind. And the basket won't count. Three fouls apiece now here in the third. Four minutes of the quarter to play. TJ Dilio moves it on. Here's James Webb for three, no. A hard fall, and no reward for Watts because it's still going to be bomb ball. Bon have got all of their main scorers out on the floor at the moment. In fact, only six players have scored for Bon here this evening. Only five, in fact. Mayer. Moved on by Pircevic, he gets back into the inside, they'll shoot the long three at the end of the shot clock with a late closeout from Torre, flying at him, he kept his focus to drain it, Dilio. Ten points for TJ. Two points the gap again, Bon have scored five without reply now. Robertson missing and now a chance for Bon to complete the comeback. Mayo. Here's Dilio lining up another from deep. They can't take the lead. Timberlake in towards Robertson, who ran into the big frame of Bruinig. And that will be the fourth foul on Bond. Voinig and Dilio go to the bench here. Rashad James is back on the floor, your man Bartolo as well. Bojan Subatic out there.
Babacar is going to line up another. He's missed all three of his attempts from long range. Josh Mayo directing traffic, feeding it in. Bartolo kicks it back out after the help defense comes across and the three point shot. It has been a bomb backlash of the highest caliber. Here in the second half, from 14 down, they lead. They've hit four three pointers in this third quarter, having knocked down just one in the whole of the first half. They were one of 11. At half time, they're four of nine here in the third quarter. Twelve points now for Josh Mayo. He's three of seven from distance. Steinman at the line to try and get Freeborg back ahead. And he misses by some distance the first they've not taken many free throw attempts just three of four before that miss so three of five now and he misses both although the rebound for Babacar Torre of the missed foul shot free ball back ahead 19 points for Torre Mayo to the corner, here's James, no. A minute and a half to go in the third quarter. A game of runs in the first half and at the start of this half, and now these two trading blows and landing another is Chad Timberlake. Mayo. Moved on to this side to Rashad James. Goes around the screen looking to work with Subatic. They want to travel Freeborg instead it's a foul called against Timberlake by the looks of it. Four fouls for Freeborg, one already at the limit. Second foul on Timberlake. Dilio back on court after a brief break. James at the line. Only the second miss from the strike for Bond. They were six of seven before that one. He misses both. Three ball by three. What a huge final minute to the third quarter this is. Williamson. Now Timberlake. The crossover's on the perimeter. Williamson calling for it. Timberson eventually finds a way to get it to him. Timberlake into Williamson. 13 points. As well as five rebounds for Williamson now. The lead is back to five, having been as many as 14, but Bond came back to lead. Here goes Mayo, and he puts it in. Will it count? As he gets the contact from Williamson, the basket counts, and a chance at a three-point play to close the gap to two. There's the foul. There's the underarm layup. Off balance, converted. Williamson, a tough call to take for him. Fifteen points for Josh Mayo now. Shot clock turned off at the end of the third quarter. Freeburg will do their best to try and hold it for the final shot of the period. Timberlake. Williamson coming out to try and manufacture room, receives it now into the paint, five seconds to shoot, puts the ball on the floor, draws the double team, tries to kick it back out, they get the shot away in time, but it's nowhere near. And what a third quarter it was for the home team, trailing by 12 at half time.
but they pour in as many points in the third quarter as they had in the whole of the first half. And they're back within two. Bonn 52, Freiburg 54. And that three-point shooting percentage only at 24%, but they knocked down four three-pointers in the third quarter after just one in the whole of the first half. It was a 26-16 third quarter for Bonn. Dilio, one of two in double figures for them, one of a few players to knock down a three as well. They were one of 11 from downtown in the first half, but far more impressive in the second. Four of 10 from the outside in that third period. And they've continued to force turnovers on Freeborg as well. They've forced the Swiss champions into 14 turnovers through the game. 10 points for TJ Dillio, who's four of eight from the field. 15 points to lead the way, though, for Bond from Josh Mayo, who's five of 10. And Bartolo playing his part with nine points. Eight as well for Martin Poynick. Freeborg then battling back through Barakar Torre and that unsportsmanlike foul that was called. He scored five points without reply and now has 19 in the game. Eight of 13 from the field, eight rebounds as well on course for a double-double. And that has been able to counter to a certain extent the improvement from the outside of the home team. Here we go then, start of the fourth quarter. Bond 52, Freeborg 54. The away side start with the ball. And they create a great look for three with the pass to the corner, but off the mark from Jonah. And then a foul on Steinman. Not the best start for Freeborg. And Bond a chance to get back level or maybe even take the lead. They did take the lead after that 14 point deficit briefly. Freeborg steadied the ship though in the third quarter and came back to take the lead again. There's Mayer, leading scorer for the home team. Feeds the ball into Bicevic. He's going in strong against Grave with the shot clock ticking down into the paint. The hooks up over the top of him for short. Big offensive rebound. Subatic in a wrestling match down on the canvas. Plenty of power colliding in the paint as he goes face to face, body to body with Williamson. Two six foot eight players, 204 centimeters each, putting their bodies on the line. And we're still waiting for the first score of the fourth quarter. Still bomb ball as they try and get level or maybe even ahead. Mayer takes the ring road around the defence. Bircevic looking to move it on and blocking off the passing lane was Timberlake and what a great save on the near side. Grave. Steinmann. Timberlake. Shot clock down to the final three seconds. Timberlake's going to take on the shot, drifting towards the baseline. Offensive rebound for Grave and a fresh 14 on the shot clock for Freeborg. And it will still be their ball, only five left to shoot. Grave, Jonah, Steinman, Timberlake and Williamson on the floor. So key players on the bench for the away team. Now they are going to change things. Justin Robertson back in. Here goes Jonah, floats one up, misses. An offensive rebound and a foul. 
rebounds, especially on the offensive glass, were one of the main areas I highlighted before the opening tip as a potential advantage for Freeborg. They're averaging 14 offensive rebounds a game to Bond's 10. Although Bonn have out-rebounded them in that department so far, 10 to 9. So the home team have gonna, done a good job to match the away side. There's Robinson on the inside. Off the nice pass. Freeborg back by four. Ahead, Robinson up to six points. Vichovic is going to shoot the three, misses it. Williamson with the rebound, his sixth of the game. Jonah. It would be a big basket here if Freeborg could convert. Just to open up a bit of breathing room again. Gravett threatens the three, drives inside. Can he force it home? Yes, he can. A six-point lead. What a time to get your first score. Paul Grave on his first shot. And then he commits the foul at the other end of the floor. Freeborg second in the opening two and a half minutes of the final period. Grave scoring, and uh, Jonet providing the run and the pass have both contributed plenty of energy. And there's an offensive foul against Bond, so two fouls on them now, but more significantly perhaps the turnover. It's not happened for the home team yet in the fourth quarter after such a huge response in the third. Third foul on Subotic. Babacar Torre back on the court now, having had a bit of a rest at the start of this quarter. Hands it off to Jonah. Moves back inside, over the head pass. Grave fires it inside. Torre can't force it home. And Bond survived that scare. Mayo. Can they get their first points of the fourth quarter here? Breunig, yes he can, attacking Torre strong and finishing with the long left arm. Double figures for Martin Breunig now. Four points the gap, it took three minutes for Bond to score here in this quarter. Grave, looking for Babacar Torre, trying to beat Breunig, forced under the backboard though, and forced into the miss, and the turnover. James across to the far side, the three-pointer taken quickly into great effect for Josh Mayo. Bond within one. 18 for Mayo, who's only one behind Torre now. As one of the superstars of each team continues to step up. Here is Babacar, Torre looking to get back in business and doing so. 21 points for him now. Mayo. Breunig bullish to attack Babacar and to put it in off the backboard. 12 points for Martin Breunig. Robertson. Freeborg by one, stretching the lead to three. Lovely jump shot from Justin Robertson. He moves on to eight points. Freeborg are doing their very best to hold off the challenge of Bonn. Five minutes and 19 seconds remaining. The Swiss side have only won two of their first 10 games in this competition this season. They have the lead by three. Fourth foul picked up by Steinmann. The third team foul on Freeborg here in the fourth quarter. And the turnover and the freedom of the Telecom Dome to score in transition for Naton Jokovic.
James. Five points the deficit now with five minutes to play. Rashad James crossing over, taking on the long range two, missing it. And it's going to be free Borg ball. This would be a sizable lead if they were able to convert here, given the struggles of Bonn on offense. Robertson making the move, clinging on to it. Williamson, now Torre. Andre Williamson again, and Watts rather this time in towards Torre and turned over. Turnover number 15 for Freeport. Perhaps most significantly, though, their first turnover of the fourth quarter. They turned the ball over 14 times through quarters one, two, and three. It's taken five and a half minutes for their first turnover here in the fourth. James to Mayo to the corner. You can see that Bonn have taken advantage of those turnovers until this point, looking to do so again here. Robertson comes up with a rebound though, final four minutes. There's the stop and pop, Jay. It doesn't drop though, an offensive rebound. And their tenth of the night to tie level with Bonn in that regard. Williamson. Jokovic lost it on the dribble. Williamson had to heave it from deep and missed. Mayo. He gets fouled on the perimeter. And that is four fouls on Freeborg now. So for the final three and a half minutes, any foul from their defense will send the Bonn offense to the foul line, whether it's a shooting foul or not. going to have a timeout. Jorkovic picking up his fourth foul. So a couple of Freeborg players on four now, hanging by a disciplinary thread. And the timeout called a five-point gap, but a chance for Bond to make it a one-possession ball game when we return. But keep aggressive let's throw fouls. No easy point. Three, two, zone. Good box out. Three, two, zone. Good goals out, one arm, hey, aggressive, hey, pick and roll, aggressive switch, yeah? Double curve, huh? Double curve, Yes, it is a J, hey, it is a just. Four side, you have the stretch, you make the trade, watch out, the child be ready. If it's hard, get the pick and the ball, Martin, a good screen, and after that, good throw, you can bounce fast, good attention, four side, hey, come on, go, I go, I go, I go. You can see from those graphics in that timeout, 12 extra points in the paint from Freeborg, but they're just one of 10 from downtown. Bonn have improved from distance here in the second half. They've hit five three-pointers since the main break after just one in the first half. They've also got an extra four points at the foul line to counteract the 64% inside shooting of Freeborg. The Swiss champions still lead by five, though, with three and a half minutes to play. Rashad James moving it on to Josh Mayo, 18 points so far. James, shot clock to five. Inside it goes, and going to work is Bartolo. Can't hit. A big defensive stop if they can complete it, and they can, free ball. Good hustle on the near side to save it from Williamson. With each of those defensive stops, they get closer and closer. Three minutes to play. Robertson, an offensive conversion would take them a lot closer here. Williamson taking on the long two. Not able to hit. Big rebound again from Babacar, though. And that will complete his double-double, but it's come at a cost. Surely they can't afford to lose him for these final two minutes and 49 seconds. Babacar Torre holding the groin. It is now 21 points and 10 rebounds for Babacar. And six of those 10 rebounds have come on the offensive glass. But as he grabbed that one, he slipped and may well have pulled his groin muscle. He did his best effort to get back up and to try and find a teammate so as not to turn it over. But what position does that leave him in? 
as we have a timeout called on the floor again. Torre knocking down nine out of 13 from two point range, as well as grabbing all of those rebounds. 21 points and 10 boards, his fourth double double, I believe, of the season. He had 13 points and 15 rebounds against Tenerife, the group leaders, last week. Looks as though he's going to be able to dig deep and recover from that knock to see out the ball game. A quick three-pointer off the timeout. Drained by Mayo, who's on the mark again. It was, in fact, Rashad James, I beg your pardon. It gets bomb within two. And knocked away emphatically off the attack from Justin Watts. Bond trying to turn it up on offense and defense now. Seven seconds still to shoot for Freeborg, though. Robertson to inbound. Watts again. Oh, he swivels away beautifully from James and gets the finger roll to four. Freeborg keeping their noses in front here, almost forcing a turnover. Instead, there's a foul. James Webb, who got to the loose ball first, but Freeport really battling. Look at a lovely move here from Justin Watts. Rolling around the body of his defender. And that foul does take Freeport to the limit, though. Each and every point huge for Telecom Baskets born. For coach Pedrag Krunic and his team. They're not just trying to stay alive in this game, they're trying to stay alive in the race for the playoffs. Three points the gap, two minutes to play. It's been a low scoring affair in Bond tonight, but a hugely entertaining one. Robertson. Moving it on to the corner, Jurkovic trying to steady himself, then had to force up the three. It's another rebound for Babakar. And a foul. No, a travel. So Babakar Torre turns the ball over. 21 points, 11 rebounds, seven offensive rebounds, and a steal for Torre now. Mayo. He's got 18 points to lead Bob. Here's James looking to pull the trigger from deep again, misses it. He hit one from there just a few moments ago. Watts approaching the final minute. Here goes Banakar Torre getting basket side. Strong contact from your man Bartolo. He just lost his man for a moment and then wanted to make absolutely sure that Babacar Torre couldn't take advantage from the field. Bond still have fouls to give. A rebound for Bruinig. And he loses the ball with only a minute to play, a costly turnover. This is a big possession here for Freeborg. In it goes, inside, Williamson scores. And Freeborg lead by five with 51 seconds remaining. And that turnover does indeed prove costly. A timeout called immediately from the bomb bench. They have things they need to talk through. 
And they need a huge finish to this one to remain in contention for the Basketball Champions League playoffs. Williamson twisting basket side away from Bartolo. One on one as the entry pass was fed into him. And he takes his tally to 15 points and eight rebounds, four assists as well. Now coach Predrag Krunic and his team need a big finish to remain in the hunt for the playoffs. And they cannot surely afford to lose this one. And it would mean the possibility of falling three wins behind the top four with just three games to play. TJ Dilio inbounding the ball and a turnover right off the back of the timeout. An absolute heartbreaker. And they haven't protected the ball well. All evening, it's their 17th turnover of the game. Williamson, shot clock down to five. Williamson for three. An offensive rebound if they can grab it, and they can. Here's Jurkovic. Just to twist the dagger that's in the back of Bonn right now. Long range three, doesn't go. And what a tough defeat this is going to be for Bonn here on home court. They've scored more than 92 points in each of their previous three home games, just 63 points here this evening and Freeborg will win just their third game of the season to all but end the playoff hopes of Telecom Baskets Bonn. Bonn 63, Freeborg 70. Well, it was a real roller coaster ride, particularly for the home team. Such a positive third quarter such a dam damaging fourth quarter and a hushed silence around this arena now just 26 points in the first half then 26 in the third quarter to get back on track just 11 points in the final 10 minutes that sees Bond fall to four and seven and surely it sees them fall out of contention for the top four. As for Freiburg, it puts them back into contention for a place in the Europe Cup. They're now just one win behind tonight's opponents for sixth place. Heads hanging in white and red. Contrasting emotions, Freeborg saluting their travelling fans. They did it with 62% inside shooting. And 13 extra rebounds, five more on the offensive glass, played a huge part. Both teams committing plenty of turnovers. What a huge double-double though from Babacar Torre, 21 points, 12 rebounds. And the 18 points of Josh Mayo coming in defeat for Bonn. Bartolo big defensively with four steals. But it was an even bigger defensive performance as a team altogether for Freeborg. You can see Williamson 15 points and eight rebounds, four assists for him as well. Including a late basket that put Freeborg in control in the closing seconds. It just was not Bonn's night. It looked like they were back in business in the third quarter and then it slipped out of their grasps again.
They fall to four and seven. Freiburg rise to three and eight. A couple of big performances in a row after the winter break for Freiburg. They only went down by six at home to the group leaders Tenerife last week. And they've won by seven on the road here in Bonn. On game day 11. Too little, too late, surely, in terms of a playoff push for them, but they can make their move perhaps for one of those Europe Cup places. A great effort from those off the bench. In the second half, Paul Gravet scoring there. Off the penetration from Jonah. Breunig, one of three in double figures for Bonn. He had 12 points. Dilio, 10 points, 18 points for Josh Mayo. All of those tallies coming in defeat. They hit six three-pointers in the second half after just one in the first bond, but still only shot 27% from downtown through the game. And Babacar Torre was perhaps the difference in the end as Freeborg dominated inside, shooting 61.5% from two-point range. And Torre was 9 of 13 inside the arc. 21 points, 12 rebounds, including seven offensive rebounds and a steal for Big Babacar. Jokovic taking advantage of one of the 16 bomb turnovers. Turnovers that cost them down the stretch. Despite the best efforts of Rashad James and Josh Mayo from distance. James finished with eight points. Just two of nine from the field though. And Watts with a lovely piece of footwork there. He had eight points. Only two Freeborg players scored in double figures. 21 for Babacar, 15 for Williamson. But three players scored eight. Justin Watts, Justin Robertson, and Natan Jurkovic. There's one of those big offensive rebounds. 15 offensive rebounds for Freiburg, and they got them when they mattered as well. More of them in the second half because Bonn had been ahead on the offensive rebounding count. Freiburg adjusted and came back strong in that department in the second half and got their reward with those second chance points. And it sees them close the gap on Bonn to just one win. And surely it sees Bonn out of contention for the top four now with just three games to play. They're two wins behind Pauk and Holon, but those two teams have a game in hand here in game day 11. It's been a pleasure having your company for this one in the Basketball Champions League. From me, Tim Long, I'll see you next time.